How are we today? I got a message from um, a girl called Kerry asking if I was going to do orc weave. And I was like, oh, don't actually know how to do orc weave. So last night I spent a couple of hours working that out. Um, wow. <laughs> Once you got it, but yeah, initially, wow. I, I followed a unit by unit tutorial. There might be another one out there. If not, I'm going to try and work out one it all in one length because I'm not necessar necessarily into building things unit by unit and then sewing them up but um yes we did work out 19 swg so this is the small size here that i did 19 swg wire 3.45 millimeters that's your 964 in imperial inches and then the uh, ar of the ring is 3.45 so that worked so I dug around into my big box of joy and found something with a similar AR, in fact, almost identical, 3.46. So that's a 16 SWG, and the ID internal diameter is 5.55, and that's that big bugger there. Um, I'm doing it in this size because it's easier for me to show you on camera. The only downside is it's quite thick, and you know me, a little miss shaky shake. So you'll have to forgive me if I'm a little bit wobbly. But I think the bigger rings will give us a, a better way of showing you how it's done. So, go in with the big ones. Although the little one is absolutely beautiful. But, uh, yeah, let's do it with the big ones. Now, to break it down for you and to make it feel less confusing, all you actually need, let's move this over here, to make one unit. So, if I show you this. If you look, it's, look, it's made up in sections. So they're units, right? If you flip it over at the back... Each unit is joined with a single ring through those ones there. So you're actually making up these pieces and then between those four rings, one, two, three, four, you're just putting a ring to join them, right? So actually, the only bit you really need to get your head around is getting one unit to start. And to do one unit, all you need is one chain that is one, two, one, two, one. Nice and easy. One, two, one, two, one. Yeah. And six open rings. That's all you actually need for one unit. So you can get your head around that bit first, then you're fine. All you need to do then is to be able to join them up. <clears throat> okay, so to do our unit, as I said, one, two, one, two, one. Okay, nice and easy. You got your open rings ready, your six open rings, and that's all you need. So, to start, we're doing the, my usual trick of flipping. Flip one forwards and flip one the other side forwards, right? So, you're doing this in, in. So, you get that, okay? So, you got that. All you want to do now is see those two there. You're going to have two there and you're going to have those two over there. Take the two on the left and hold them and let the other ones drop. Yeah, and put a ring through there. So I'll just do that now without fluffing about. Okay, one, two, one, two, one. Fold one up. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> fold that one inwards, fold that one inwards and then grab the two on the side. Let the other ones drop. Okay, cool. Put a ring in there. Where's my other squeezy squeezies? There they are. These rings, I'm not used to working with these gauges, so you have to forgive me. Right, so once you've done that, what you've got, see those three that are sitting across the middle? On one side is one with two behind it. If you flip it over, obviously, you're going to have two with the one behind it. So, just make sure it looks like that and then you know you're right. So what we want to do is we want to put another ring now in those bottom two, the same as that one there. So there's those bottom two. Put a ring through them. So there you go. There's that three in the middle. One sitting on two. Or on the other side, two sitting on one. So we want to work at the minute with the one, the single ring facing upwards, okay? We've only got four rings to go. It's mad, isn't it? Right? So what we do now, 
is with that like that, we're doing the fold again. Fold that one in and spread them apart, right? And see what happens here is it creates an eye there and an eye there. Yeah? And that's where we're going. That's it. So we just grab a ring. We want to go in through that one and out through that one. Yeah? I put it on the table just so it doesn't undo and confuse us at the minute. Because we're still new, aren't we, at this? Close him up. I can always tidy up uh, closures later. And then we're doing the same. So there he is there, look. In there. Oops. In there. Oopsie. And out there. Just make sure that's going through that eye. Perfect. Right. and do a map now if you can do that on one side you can do it on the other side and if you can do it on the other side you've made a unit so you've got that look so all we essentially had was that ring that was sitting on the top on the top of those two we folded that out one in and then we put one through either side there right cool so turn it around and do the same thing again so that one there is folded in then we got our two eyes. You got, if you look, there's three all together. One, two, three, three little gaps, if you like. We want to go in those two there and ignore that, yeah? So, and if you hold it too tight, you won't be able to get it in. You've got to have a little bit of relaxation going on, man. So just let it go loose and then it'll go in. Hold it tight and you've got no bloody chance. Let it, just take a chill pill, let it go. There you go. So it goes in there like that, look. Oh, I wish these rings weren't as thick. Yeah, and we just got one more to go. There he is, look, there's that hole. There. And that's it. That is a unit of orc weave. Right, I'm just gonna do one more just to show you. Okay, so we've got our one, two, one, two, one. Fold one forwards, fold the other one forwards, and that gives us that, where we just squeeze those two then and put a ring through. Okay, that's that bit done. I'm trying to do this without my glasses so they don't get in the way and blur my camera. So now we've got that, we want to put another one in those two there to match it up on the other side. There, like that. Right. I've got three rings, I'm going to need one more. Where is my rings? Where are my rings? Let's open one more. So we've got that and we've got our four and that's all you need. So we check this, make sure there's the little one. We've got two on the back, we've got one on the front. Keep it on the one on the front, fold this one over, and those will sort of spread and reveal our two areas that we want to place a ring. One eye there, one eye there, okay? Now remember I said if I hold it loose so it'll go in, fab. One. There's the next eye there, look. Like that. There we go. So one side done already. Let's turn him around and do the same thing again. So flip that one towards and it'll reveal those two eyes. One there, one there. through like that oh that was my wrist clicking <laughs> and the same again there he is there look through there 
oopsie, and through there. And that's it. So that's our next unit of oak weave. Remember, this is actually the back with the two rings going horizontal there, those two rings, that's the back. So I'm flipping round to the front. I say the front, the side that we're gonna join. Right, I think actually, so yeah, that's that side. That's So that is the one where the two are horizontal and that's the side we join on. Right, so we wanna go <clears throat> in through this one and in through this one, around, then in through that one and that one and then join, she says. <laughs> so, we wanna go in through that one and that one, like that, look. Yeah. And then we wanna come through that one and through that one. Now don't drop it, wiggling through so you've got a bit of somewhere to grab there. And grab it and now you're safe. Now just shut him up. Oh, there we are, that's my wrist clicking. And they're joined, it's as simple as that. Flip him over to the front. And that's it. Beautiful. And obviously that's my smaller version. Yeah, so I think of that as the back, where the two are, because it's like one might fold over that one and that one might fold over. You know, it's not particularly, I'm not 100% in love with that bit, but that's all right, because it's the back anyway. That's the front, and I think that's beautiful. So here we are. I consider the front the one where the rings, the two rings there go horizontal. Those two rings there. So that's it.